this is the thing, Robert, when I was talking to you earlier today and in days past, I wanted to talk a little bit. One of them is the emergency situation that the church is realizing in regard to the Eucharist. That's one thing. Uh, and also, we've got a problem with a lot of things happening in Rome right now. So there are two things to address. And I'm going to try to be, as you always are, and as we try to be on the program, as honest as I can be. And as hopeful, because again, we don't lose hope. Can't do that. That is not Christian. That is not Catholic. That is not the way Christ wants us to react to anything. I, I suppose you could say we are the holdouts. That's right. We're, I think so. Yeah, we will hold the line as, as best we can through God's grace to be one more link in a 2,000-year chain, which actually precedes Christ also with the centuries of the prophets and many faithful of Israel. But we will hold the line in 2023 and beyond as attempts are made to uh, distort, alter, change, or abandon the 2,000-year-old tradition of the faith, the deposit of the faith, the story, the fact, the proclamation of Jesus Christ will not cease. Uh, in our time, we will continue. This is what John Paul II urged us to do. This is what Cardinal Gagnon urged you to do. This Absolutely. Is what Pope Benedict XVI urged me to do. He said, keep going with your writing on your magazine. And now we have this means through the internet, through video. We are humble servants, even useless servants, to quote what uh, Pope Benedict said when he came out on the balcony when he was elected in Pope in 2005. And he himself went through his own crises and had to resign, and resign his office. And we, being Catholic, we will carry forward what the Catholic faith has always taught, summarized in the Apostles' Creed and the Nicene Creed, and then in the social teaching and the doctrinal magisterium of the church. And it is our privilege to be in this time. And it's the privilege of all these people who are facing the amazing power of the internet today with TikTok and all the YouTube and all the various media with trillions and trillions of dollars behind it. And nevertheless, the faith will be carried forward 